One of the time-honored traditions of the Easter holiday is dyeing eggs. But today, we're going to try something a little different. Yeah, there's a great technique that will add creative designs to give your eggs a unique look. And joining us now to show us how is Anna Munoz. She is the Education and Design Coordinator for the Taubman Museum of Art. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. This looks so different. So what are we making today? So today we're doing wax resist Easter eggs. So it's pretty okay. much the same concept as dyeing eggs, but we're doing them on paper. Okay. Very cool. Let's right. jump into so it. So this is what we're making, right? Is yes. Is this right? So okay. this is an example. All right. Um, and all you need are white crayons and some watercolors. And we also have um, a more realistic example if you want to go for that. But we're going to do the simpler one today. All okay. right. I, want, I love it. All right. I just want to show everybody what we okay. need. So we need the, the white crayons, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then these are the liquid yes. watercolors that and we're going to And any watercolor will work for okay. this. Okay. Right. So, okay. So what should we do? Colors. So we're going to start with our crayon first. Um, so the concept behind wax resist techniques are mm -hmm. that the water in the paint and the wax in the crayon do not mix. So we're going to put our designs first and you can make it very simple. You could do stripes, you could do polka dots, um, or start doing other images like flowers. So oh if my you want gosh. to oh, yeah. sure. here we go. Whatever you want to do. All right. So maybe I just want to do some. And you want to do all of your crayon parts before you start painting. Okay. So whatever I feel like. What are you making? I'm okay. gonna do flowers and stripes and polka dots. And right, this gets really challenging when you don't you can't know see it. it. <laughs> yes, and technically you can use any color crayon, but the white is the most fun because you get like don't a nice surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a nice reveal at the end. Uh -huh. This yeah. is so cool. So this is something that I feel like my kids would absolutely love. Yes, oh, it's yes. perfect for all ages because, um, of course, you can also just scribble and paint on top if you have a toddler. Ooh, right. Natalia, that's going to look good. you can do good. this with real eggs, too, right? So exactly. You can actually draw on the real eggs and So dye what's them. the next stop? Right. Yes, so, so means, next, <laughs> all you have to do is brush the watercolor over the whole egg. And so we have three colors. We have purple, pink, and blue. Okay. All right. So you can just pick your color. Oh, the middle is water just to yes, clean up brushes? Yes, if you need to clean your brush. And the nice thing about watercolors is it's perfect for Easter oh, themed activities. Man. Oh, I color outside. Uh, oh, outside yeah, that's the lines. really fun. You can also cut it out after. Oh, that's what I'll do then. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. <gasps> this that is so cool. Better. And I feel like this could, my kids are six and two. So I feel like both of them can handle this easily. Yes. Yeah. So easy. Even it's I can very do it. satisfying. It is Even satisfying. There's something about painting that just kind of. You know, and then when the away. crayon reveals itself. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Yeah. And you can it. easily make a more pastel shade by yeah. just adding more water. So yeah, it's that. very appropriate for Okay, Easter. we want to mention that you have a couple of events coming up. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, you're holding a spectacular Saturday. Tell us about that. Yes, so every Saturday is a spectacular Saturday. Um, that's typically when we get our most visitors, and sometimes we'll have a community partner. Um, so this week we're just all about Easter, so yeah, you can do this and lots yeah. more. And then you have an Art Venture Spring Break Week at the Taubman, April 4th through the 7th. Thank you for that, because my kids yes. are on spring break. Yes. And then Saturday, April 7th, you have an Art Venture Free Community Day. Yes. Which is from 10 to 5. Very cool. And you have a book reading and signing at 2 p.m. And all this information can be found online, taubmanmuseum.org. Let me see, Brittany. What You've do you got think? a little you bit like further than I did. Yes. I love it. This was really <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thank you You're so, so much. Welcome.